What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to use Procreate for beginners. I will be going through a couple of the dope brushes and showing you what they do and a couple of settings and features to show you exactly how to use it so one thing i'll advise you to invest in man you need to get you one of these apple pencils if you're using the ipad pro so you can get the pressure option you know what i'm saying you get more control over your brush okay the best app for art obviously is procreate man and i'm just I'm just gonna be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? The best app to use when you're looking for an art app, Procreate, bro. And this is not a sponsored video, this is just the truth. So let's go right into Procreate. What you wanna do when you wanna start fresh, you just hit the plus sign right here. Bam. And then, you know what I'm saying, you create you a size. The size I like to draw on it's eight by eight inches you know what i'm saying i think that's perfect for instagram and wherever you're trying to post it at on social media so look you want to come over here hit this circle to change the color you know what i'm saying this way you can pick and select any color you want go to your brushes when you're doing line work the best brush for the line work is your ink brush inking brush so you go to inking and then you go to technical pen that's the best brush to use if you double click it and you move this streamline all the way up right here that's gonna help you get more control over your lines to make sharper lines you know what i'm saying it'll help correct your lines so you can make it even smoother so let's say if we was drawing a of face this how you make your your lines bigger and this how you drop the opacity on the line see what i'm saying you move this up so just showing you if you want to delete you messed up all you got to do is hit this and y'all can't see it because my head in the way okay anytime Anytime you want to delete, all you got to do is hit this back arrow. Just say if I, I drew a picture and I messed up on a whole bunch of lines. All I got to do is keep pressing this back arrow. And it's just going to take me back. And it's going to delete all my mistakes. Okay, let's draw out a face real quick. So, say if I was drawing a picture of somebody. And if you want to zoom in so you can get finer detail, all you got to do is grab your two fingers and just spread it like this. And then if you want to make it smaller, you just bring it back just like this. That's how you change the size. Okay. That's why it's good to buy you an uh, Apple Pencil. Because you see how I get to make my, my lines like different sizes as I'm drawing with the pressure. Now you know what, I'm gonna show y'all something with that. Let's go ahead and draw this face. Don't judge me, I'm just doing this to show you guys. Okay, say if I wanted to draw some dope looking hair. What I would do is I would come right here. Select this tool right here. Make sure you got it selected. And you want to create you a nice little path. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to create a little path. And close it off like that. See this little selection I just made. Now I'm gonna come over here to my brush tool. And we're gonna find us a brush 
to create the hair. Let's see. little fade and you notice how it's not letting me go outside the lines it's not letting me go outside this little shape we just made I'm just creating a little fade right here and we're gonna make it darker so it look like it's fading now let's go back to our Brush tool. I'm gonna give him a little box. Now, give him a little box. Give him a little box. Go to our eraser tool. We gonna trim all this unwanted hair on the side. Now look, now when you finish, you wanna click that to take the selection off and now look, we got a nice little fade. Got a nice little fade going, you feel me? Now I'm gonna make his eyebrows, so I'm gonna go back to this tool right here, we're gonna make sure we got it selected so we can create a path. Let's create a nice little path for it right there. Let's go back to my brush tool. Let's click this little hair right here, hair brush. Telling y'all, man, this program is next level, man. All right, we're gonna click off of it. We're gonna click back on it. So we can create the other side. We're gonna draw a path for it. Let's draw a path. We're gonna come up here to our brush tool. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna make it fade. See what I'm saying? Now, I wanna make his eyes black. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my color right there drag and drop let's go back to our brush our technical pen and let's create the detail inside the ears real quick and we're gonna give him a James Harden beard so let me go back to this go back to that right there and let's create us a nice little selection. Okay. Cool. Go back to my brush. Go to my noise brush. We're gonna create them a nice little fade. Well, we gotta make it be light. So we're gonna start them out light. And it's gonna get darker down here. But it's gonna fade up. See how we got it fading? Now that we did that, we can take our selection off, go back to our, our hair, our short hair brush. Let's go ahead and add a nice little texture down here. And what I like to do, so I won't mess up this little fade we just created, we can go ahead and go back to 
this tool right here. Make sure we got it highlighted. And we just stay around the edges. So we don't make a mistake. Let's draw a big old opening. Close it off. Let's go back to our hairbrush. Step back some messed up. See what I'm saying? You just gotta learn how to use the tools to your advantage. Learn how to use it to your advantage. Okay. Got a little hair going. I'm gonna do the same thing up here. So let's create a close off. I use this to, so I can stay in certain areas, you know what I'm saying, without messing up anything else. So you just, that's all I use this tool for. So I can stay in a certain area that I don't wanna go outside of. So. After I make my selection, I just click the brush. I want, I want this, I want that hairbrush again. And these are brushes that come with the program. So all you need is the program. Like get this program and get you an Apple Pencil and you in the game. Okay. And there we go. Guy with the afro. I mean, with the box fade. So now what we about to do, we about to color this thing. So what you would want to do is you want to come over here to your layers. You want to drag this layer to your left. And when you drag to the left, it'll make a copy of it. See what I did? I mean, when, let me go back. When you drag it to the left, it'll give you options. And then you just hit duplicate. So I'm gonna come to my bottom layer I just created. Let's find us a nice little skin tone. Okay, let me step back. We forgot to close our main layer off. So let's go back to it with our ink tool. And you see, I got an opening right here, so we gotta clean that up. And it's an opening on this side. Okay, now we should be good. So let's go back, let's duplicate the line work, make sure our bottom one is selected. Find us a nice base color to start with. Okay, I think that'll do. Drag that color over and drop it inside our character we just created. Also, we're gonna create us another layer of the line work for the eyes and the lips. So let's go ahead and color these eyes. Just drag and drop that color inside the eyes. Then we're gonna create a color for the lips. Okay. Bam. Now, this is my little method I use, man. Go to our skin color layer. What you wanna do is double click it. And then once you get this options right here, all you gotta do is select, select, click select. And what it's gonna do is not gonna let you color outside of that color that's on that layer. So watch this. Now we're gonna find us a nice shadow color. Let me go to my 
tool I want to use. Let's use the airbrush tool. I like to use the soft brush. Okay, we're gonna drop the brush opacity down some so we can get a better fade on it. And we're gonna make our brush a little smaller. As you can see, let's go ahead and if you want to select and sample colors, all you got to do is hold your finger down on your picture and then select the area you want to sample. Then let go and it'll sample it. So now I'm going to move my opacity all the way back up after I done sampled the color I created. See, it's not letting me go outside the lines. It's keeping me inside my boundaries. So this tool coming, the selection tool coming handy. little shadow let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go to another brush tool I like to use when I'm shading I like to go to my noise brush just to help it fade a little more And just say, if I want to blend this shadow color or any color more, you know what I'm saying? All I got to do is come up here. And then you go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And then you just play with your settings. a new layer so we can make, make our shadows a little darker uh oh I always see how I just went outside the lines it's because I didn't have our color layer selected okay now I just selected our color layer let's go back to our brush and it's gonna keep us inside our border Make our brush a little bigger. Go to fade more. Also, and now make some highlights on his face a couple of highlights nice little highlight going on man now we can go up to our lips and eye layer, double click it, hit select so it won't let us color outside of that layer. 
It's just the same routine I use. Okay, let's go to our, let's go to a nice little brush tool. See what I'm saying? This app is perfect, man. For beginners and serious artists. Okay. Now what I'm finna do, I'm finna create a layer at the very top. And just say, if you want to merge all your layers together to save some space, all you got to do is grab grab your fingers and pull them together. Okay, let's go to the layer at the very top. And we're going to create uh, some nice hair highlights. So, put on my finer hairbrush. Create a couple of these little highlights, man. Also. Hit some details inside the eyes. They got so many brushes on this that comes with the program. You just got to get it and play with it. Color white. Made that glare a little too big. And there you have it. Let's say I'm finished. I'm gonna merge all my layers. And then I wanna change the size. All I gotta do is hit this arrow tool right here. And I can just resize it. You know what I'm saying? We can resize that thing. Drop the opacity down on your picture if you would like. You want to add a color background? All you got to do is select background and change the color. Y'all want to see some more tutorials on Procreate? Just let me know when I get more in depth for y'all. You know what I'm saying? We'll do a couple of more serious pieces. If you want to save your project? All you got to do is come to uh, this wrench right here. Then you go to share, and then you can save it as a PSD, PDF, JPEG, PNG. A tiff and also you get to watch your time lapse video just come over here to video let's select video and watch time lapse replay and then you get to see everything that we just did and you get to save your time lapse video as well man this program is super dope if you're new to the channel hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you stay tuned Mohi coming soon, and I'm gonna wait till it's finished with the cartoon. Hurry up, George, 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 and we out this thing.